Hi guys, um, today I'm going to share a project that I made, another suitcase, because I've been making a lot of these, and this swap was a loaded suitcase swap, and it is a summer theme, and it is um, Chasing Summer Rainbow Swap on Instagram. If you want to hashtag that, you should be able to find everyone's projects who participated. Um, my partner is Stephanie Garcia. She is Sweet Crafty Girl on Instagram, and she is Stephanie Garcia on um, YouTube. And I will try to link everybody who participated um, below so that you can go watch their videos and maybe go to their Instagram and flip through photos if they post photos. Um, and so I thought I would get on here and show you <laughs> my next suitcase. And this one is super cute. I try to do summer theme, but I really don't have a lot of summer stuff, uh, craft, craft supplies. I don't have a lot of paper or embellishments, so I did the best I could, Stephanie. I'm sorry if you're disappointed, but it still turned out pretty. So I think I did a good job. I tried. So I hope you're happy with what you received. And so this is the suitcase I made and I'm going to show you all the goodies I put inside to load it up. Um, so I use the, uh, I believe it's called Confetti Wishes um, birthday paper because it was just so pretty and it's summer theme. So that's what I used for my box and I'll also link below again where I got my tutorial to make the box or the, the suitcase in case you're interested on to make one and so this is how I decorated it and I did make this yarn pom-pom and I put it on a, a lobster claw or clasp here <laughs> so that I could um, attach it right here just poked a little hole punched a hole put this little die cut key on here it has a couple of layers so it's kind of sturdy and here I put her initial and um, as always I put my little my little gold lock right there. I like to do my handles this way. I just die cut it with an edge edge die that's kind of got a scallop shape to it and and that's how I make my handles. And then I've been putting these um, little gold gems right here on the edges because I, I think it's so cute like that. And so inside, this is what it looks like. I tried to make it all summer. I did, I did find some mermaid paper, so I did have that in my stash. I believe it's called Imagine That or something similar to that. I got it at Blitzy not too long ago on clearance. And uh, these little dies are from the Coco Reno die set and these little jellyfish. And I popped them up on dots so that they're dimensional. Added some trim here and some some sequin trim. Added another flower die cut from the Coco and Reno. And anyway, it turned out super cute. These are from the Sunny Days. I just cut those out to put in the bottom. And so here's how I'm going to load it up. Um, I believe I'm going to put this one on the bottom. And inside here, I will undo this so that we can see what's inside here. I did make this banner. Uh, we had to make two banners, so I made this one. It is super cute. It looks summer. It's got watermelon on it. Butterflies. It does say summertime too, look. <laughs> so that's the first one. Here's the second one. I found some little ice cream carts on Google and printed them off and put these on and put those on here it turned out super cute too it does have um some ephemera from maggie Holmes carousel and then some summer some sunny days um this one's from carousel also but these turned out super cute and so i have these tucked inside here inside this this um, tag box i'm not sure what to call it but I do plan on tying this back. I won't do it right now because it will take too long. But um, I'm going to put that in first. And then um, 
The second one that I'm going to put in here is this cute little bag. I found at Dollar Tree. It is adorable. It's a little vinyl uh, bag. And we had to make two bag toppers. And so here's the first one I made. I did mess it up in the back when I went to sewing it. And I sewed all my layers together on accident. So I had to add this little piece here. But you would never know, right? Unless you watch my video. <laughs> and you know I messed up. But I fixed it. I saved it. And it's beautiful. So this is the first one. It is super cute. And then I know Stephanie, she loves roller skates. And so this one has a roller skate on it. It's adorable. has this little uh, starburst or sunburst. I'm not sure what this is called. Die in the back. And then some of this cute trim. It's all glittery. Kind of the mesh that's from Hobby Lobby. And so I have these two inside this cute little bag. And I put some little star sequins in there. And some other sequins. Added this little tassel on here. I did paint this tassel, this little pink part here, because it was just a horrible orange. And then I added one of these little charms from AliExpress. And so this one's going to fit right here. Um. Okay, this one is we had to make um, two medallion embellishments, and so I actually made three. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one is a shaker. Well, it probably doesn't shake at the moment, but it has some tool over the top of it with pom poms and then a um, little starburst across there. And I did put the put these inside like a little folder that has these little pockets on the side. It was already pre-made. I don't know. I could probably show you what I'm talking about if you're interested to know. So I got a bunch of these. I ordered them from Bags Unlimited. I got like a pack of 25. And they're just these little um, vinyl. I don't even know what these are. Like little folders. They have a pocket on both sides. And it's really neat to, um, like I did here, to stick your embellishments inside. So... This is the first one. Then inside, I have this one here. Um, it's super cute. I love this little pink car. And this too is from the Confetti Wishes birthday pack. And then this one is a pinwheel with a tassel that I made. And this right here is from a carousel. And I stuck these all together. I think they're cute. I mixed them. Everything's mixed up. Because I really don't have a lot, so I just mixed everything. And this little palm tree is cute. It's from another collection, too. So everything's just all jumbled up, mixed up. And so that's that. And it is clipped together. Well, hang on. Sorry about that. Right here to hold it shut with just a little tassel. And so I'm going to put this one in here. Um, Actually... I think I'm going to have to stick this one up here. I believe that's my plan for that one. And so the next thing we had to make is a memory decks card. Oh no, I can't open it. It's already completely shut, but um, it's super cute. I will try and post the picture. I did take pictures, so I will post a picture of this on my Instagram if you want to go there and look at it. It's super adorable. It has a little flamingo right here. I don't think you can see him in this cute little crepe paper flower um, and so that's my memory decks card it's gonna go right here and I did make this little extra I've been making these I've made several of these because I thought it was adorable so I like mass produced them I had like three or four of them made and so I'm I believe I'm going to give her one of those too so that is my <laughs> loaded suitcase um, that I will be sending to Stephanie. It's uh, pretty cute, I think. And then I also, I'm sure you've seen these on my Instagram. If not, I did post a picture um, 
I did make this ice cream cone. It was a silhouette cut file. And I did make this one for her. And it's super adorable. And I hope she loves it. It does open. And I plan on putting pom-poms inside. I do have a stash of pom-poms that I got just for this. And so I'm going to be tucking a bunch of pom-poms down inside this. And I'm going to center this because she commented on it and I think she really likes it. So I think I'll center this. I know she loves these bows. This is super adorable. Me, I would just set this on my shelf and just stare at it all day because it's cute. Okay, and then the last thing we had to make in our swap was an embellishment or, um, excuse me, a sequin, sequence box. Let me move this out of the way. A sequence box and so this is the one I made for Stephanie it turned out super cute you get these boxes at Dollar Tree um, and they are the perfect size I did print this off from I found the image on Google and printed it off and then I um, stuck some little gold punch out uh, circles down here on the, on the wheels and then put some little gems here I, I can't remember the, what collection this is from, but, oh, it's a chipboard pinwheel. It's super cute. And here's one of the bows that I know Stephanie loves. Um, the truck came with the ice cream on top, and it's super adorable, so I stuck some little sprinkles of sequins on top. Since this is a sequins box, I thought that was appropriate. Got some carousel paper going on. And then this trim here that you get from, the sequins, sequins trim you get from, Whoops, um, Hobby Lobby, some little Hobby Lobby flowers. I took the little wood beads off and put these pom-poms on and I think it's super adorable. Um, also I had one of these die cuts in my stash and so shine, of course, it's sequins. They're all shiny and sparkly and gorgeous. Look at that, so cute. And so I'm gonna try not to spill this everywhere, but, oh, I did add some some little star sequins right here and right here. I don't know if you can see those. They are on the lid. But they are also inside. So these are the sequins I'm sending her. Um, these are some cute little flamingos. Whoops. Cute little flamingo sequins. I did get these from Allie. Um, most of this stuff is from Allie. Um, now that I look at it. This little mix is um, from the... Um, it's a confetti mix that you find in the party section at Hobby Lobby. And I just love these stars, and that's why I got it. Um, these little pink stars perfectly match these sequins. And so this is the mix I'm sending her. And I did throw in some pom-poms because I put pom-poms on everything. So I just stuck a bunch in there. And these cute pom-poms. She's going to be loaded up with pom-poms after she gets my mail. <laughs> so that's my sequins. Um, embellishment. It's not embellishment. I keep calling it embellishment. It's my sequins box. And so that is what I am sending to Miss Stephanie. And I hope she loves it. And I had so much fun making it. And I, I'm very happy with the way it all came out. And thank you for watching my video, and please leave comments below if you have any questions or anything. I will try to answer them. Thanks for watching.